Look how awesome it is. Oh shit, don't do that way. Aaron. Do that way? What? Everything the light touches is our kingdom. But what about that dark area over there? Never go there. That's Korea Town. <laughs> that's downtown LA. That's not, that's really Malibu. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, awesome. I want to climb a tree. Here, hold it. I thought you wanted to get, what's it called? Please don't fall off. I have this like sickening feeling you're gonna fall off and roll, roll into the ocean. The water looks so awesome. I just want to like jump in. Today is a perfect day. Well, look, if we want to survive. And every day with you is a perfect day. Oh, if we want to survive today, we have to sit in shade. Okay. Hey, where's the bridge? How are we gonna get over it? I don't know. Yo, look at that house. That's just like why? What? It's a straight shot down. Ah! Yeah. The Princess Peach house. Oh, there's the bridge. Ah! Let's go. Let's... Come on. Only stay with me. Do whatever you want. No, it's your, it's your you special day. I do have that bag. It's my work bag. Oh, what was that shirt you saw last time you really wanted? Scrooge McDuck. Oh yeah, what if they have it now? There was a Harry Potter one I really wanted. Oh, this is the Harry Potter one I wanted. Which one? <gasps> that one's cool. Do they have your size? They have my size. Do, 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 this one? Do. You can't wear a Harry Potter shirt what? unless it's Hufflepuff. No, <laughs> that's not fair. I have like 10 Hufflepuff shirts. And you're going to get more too. Oh, this is the one. That one's awesome. What? But it's an extra large. What is it? Excuse me, Doug. <gasps> ah, that's the only one left? Yeah. That's so messed up. That was... I, uh, I know. That was the last one left like three weeks ago when we were here. I like this shirt, kind of. It's so true. Bad choices do make good stories. That is really cool. Awesome! Awesome! Are they? <laughs> I want all the toys. Let's get a board game. Can we get a board game? We or a pillow pet? Can we get a new pillow? Let me have some! Do it's it. tricky me! Do it. Do it. Do it. Open it. Open it. Open it. Oh, it's open. Okay. It's open. <laughs> the fuck? What's wrong with you? There's a car coming. <laughs> this drink is really hard to drink out of. We ran out of straws, so what is it? It's orange juice in the earth and beer. cup. Orange juice and beer. <laughs> yeah. It's just really hard to drink out of. It's been a long day. It has been a long day, but it's been fun. <laughs> so we have some. Very exciting news. Um, something that Jonathan's been working on the last, what? Year. Year? It's been almost, no, it's been exactly a year. Yeah. This month. Yeah. So uh, my book, my newest book is, went on pre-order today. So I'm really excited about it. It's called The Ghost of Buxton Manor. And, and I've read it and it's really awesome. That's yeah, the perks of being married to a writer. 
you get to read all their cool stuff before it gets published. And the published. perks about being a um, married to an artist is that he gets to do the cover. Only for if he likes it, though. Of course I'm not like <laughs> And um, so, he gets to do it for free. Yeah, free. He didn't charge, <laughs> charge me a penny. I could charge you in something else. So we actually wanted to reveal the cover to you guys first before anyone else because so, you are a YouTube family. And the one. <laughs> it's either there or I really want to show it here too. Okay. The so ghost, that's the cover. The ghost of Buxton Manor. Dun, dun, dun. So it's basically about a boy named Rupert Buxton who died nearly 100 years ago and he's trapped in his family's home with an unfinished business and everything changes when a new family moves in. One of them happens to be a boy his own age. The cool thing is that the book stems from two real characters and it's Rupert Buxton is a real person and um, his supposed lover um, Michael Davies, who was one of J.M. Barrie's adopted children from the author of Peter Pan. And uh, it's, there's, it's very loosely based off of them, with definitely my own twist. And um, like I said, it has a lot to do with me and Aaron. It has to do with um, a lot of things that me and Aaron have gone through. So like I said, it's really special to me and Aaron. Yeah, so if you guys want to pre-order it, pre-orders are super important when a book releases so um if you want to pre-order the book i'll shoot a link down below we really appreciate your support and everything you guys are always awesome and we love you even if you don't buy the book we'll still love you um <laughs> Is that a little bit hard? that's a janky heart but Damn. it works yeah i know it's like it's really a heart small. and it's for you guys all right i think we're gonna clonk out because um I'm getting really tired. There's just so much to work to catch up on right now. We're back from San Diego, so it's just been like non-stop from here, just working, working, working. I have to draw a comic tonight. I haven't done a comic in forever. So for now, off to bed. Cheers. Cheers. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night.